Okay, folks, we're at Hopscotch. It's a Tuesday night. We just had a couple of old fashions. Actually, what was the name of the old fashioned? It's like a Raven. Halloween special, the Raven. So it's like a dark old fashioned. So Vinny brought some of his cool knives that I got to check out. Actually, check my video out on Instagram. It's where Ali's making us these Raven drinks. And you'll see what I mean. It was kind of dark, but we had to go find a place with better lighting. And now, without further ado, got Vinny's knife. So I got this fixed blade with this burlap. I love that. I love the way that looks. You kind of feel like the pieces coming through, like the stickers. Yeah, very natural. Now, is burlap micarta? Is it like a yeah. type of micarta? Yeah, because there's micarta pins in there. Who makes this one? Matt Harris. Matt Harris. I feel like I know that name. I feel like Vinny's told me about him before. He's uh, out of Virginia. Now, does he only just make fixed blades? No, he makes uh, one folder. <laughs> one folder? Yeah. Um, is he new to the game? No, he's been at, he's been at it for a while. He's a younger kid. He uh, took another career path, but he still he took a break from making knives. Um, What's the steel on this? I believe it's D two. D two. I was just gonna say. Look at that! Wow, he wicked edges. I don't know, um, but it was thicker. Like you see how thick the stock is yeah. here. It's thicker down here than it is up here. Yeah. Well, he, he like... Ground, ground it, it down? Yeah, so it's thinner on the blade and it wasn't... Is it a flat? Uh, yeah. I was telling Vinny how cool this knife is because it is a smaller fixed blade, but this thing's got like such a nice fatness to the handle. You can tell. It's got a nice swell. Very cool fixed blade. I love it. Like the dark acid stone wash on it. Very cool. This, I feel like just stabbing it on the table. Oh, every day. <laughs> Let's do it. You do it, they'll probably kick us out. It's just, oh, we're the only ones here. It's pretty empty. The bar's here. Uh, we were down there. Pretty it's cool. Really, really dark down there. All right. This oh, is, you told me about this one. This is the ELM Knives Hecken. Hecken? H-E-K-K-E-N. H E K K E N. Uh, what's ELM stand for? That's the maker? Uh, yes. Uh, Laren uh, Mason, I think his last name is. Now, this is my Carta? Yeah, that handles on my Carta. I forget what the steel is. I think it's AEB. Really? Yeah. Everyone loves AEBL. Yeah, I think it's. What kind of my Carta is this? This is pretty cool. I think. It's almost burlappy. It's um, it's like a um, I forget what it's called, but it's nice. It's um, really a grippy. Yeah, I, I like if I have a fixed blade, I want something that I can. It's got a good texture. I can hold. It can stay in my hand. I like the sheep's foot blade with a forward choil. A little little uh, lightly aggressive jimping there. It's funny how the jimping's on the side though. Yeah, Isn't that weird? So like, the way you hold it, you can hold it like this. Gotcha. Your thumbs still dig into it, you know? But yeah, this is... It's actually uh, pretty light for a fixed blade. These were both under $200. Where'd you get this? On a Facebook group? Yeah, he has his own Facebook group. ELM Knives. On actually, I, I followed it, and yeah, this is in demand. Nice dark acid stone wash. I think this was actually 200 Really? He makes a smaller one. It's called the. So hunter. how'd you get this in a lotto? Um, first come, first serve. No, I was. Uh, I think he had one. I think he was making one, and he, I was like, "Hey, can I was like, hey, can I get one?" He was like, "Sure." Wow. So that's pretty generous. Um, he makes a smaller one. It's uh, I forgot to bring it, but it's called a hundo, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, hundred dollars. It's a small fixed blade for a hundred dollars. It just comes with steel, no scales, and you can you can cord wrap it. You can put scales on it. But I really like the it's an affordable the handle material. I do too. What's this model called again? Uh, the Hecken. The Hecken. 
the Hecken. What's did I ask? What this one's called? Uh, this is the War Boy. The what? War Boy. War Boy. Yeah. War Boy. War Boy. They're both cool. Both cool little fixed blades. So Vinny's into, Vinny's into fixed blades. I'm into fixed blades. You know, our tastes evolve. This is just. The oh yeah. Production. Para three. Para three. My first para three that I've handled. And it's the lightweight. It's got the spring. The so FRN handles. Yep. It's the got, pocket clip, the yep. wire pocket clip. I love that. And it's got a topography uh, blade. So blade. is that acid etch? Let's see this bad boy. I think it's just the coated with the laser on top that's of it. That's hot. That's kind of like, uh, what's that company that sells these? I got one of their birch. Tad. Tad. Yeah. Triple lot design. Very yeah. triple lot design. This, this, this sweatshirt's from triple lot design. Very nice. You must have money. <laughs> but uh, I've never handled a para three. I've handled a 10 million para twos, but I love this thing. I love it. I love the size. I love this topography. I carry this every day, and it's that's the, an awesome blade. The best knife. Wait, where did you get this with the topography? So if you uh, shout out to Tam Fam Graham on Instagram, if it's just how it says, just how you say it, it's T A M T A M F A M Graham. Okay. On Instagram. Yeah. He sells um, weapon accessories uh, with this topography on it. So is he, it, is, is he it, sells everything from knives, phone cases, stickers. Is it pricey? Uh, I think this, this was 160 Oh, that's not bad. No. For, that's fucking awesome. For a lightweight parrot. That's great. Yeah. Um, the manager of Hopscot just passed by and she actually hooked us up with these awesome, me and Vinny, we're just hanging out at the bar. With these, oh, oh, Vinny's gonna open it up, perfect. With these skull ice makers. Look at this, how awesome is this? Look at that. Brian's gonna be so jealous. Fast Bandit doesn't have Fast one. Fast Bandit doesn't have one. <laughs> and we're just hanging out at the bar and the girl was just so nice. She goes, yeah, would you guys like some skull ice cube makers? I'm like, hell yeah. They're so awesome, yeah, look at that. Perfect for Halloween, what a shot. That's awesome, look at that. That was cool. This guy. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the cool one. So this is a Nick Swan slip. I forget what it's called. You're gonna have to do this one because I can't do it one-handed. So, so it's, it's a slip joint. Carbon with fiber, no liners. Uh, it's just a regular slip joint with a blood group, fingernail, nail pick, free curve. Recurve. What's I, the blade steel? I think it's AEB. Everyone well. loves ABL. I could be wrong though. If I'm wrong, somebody in the comments. Will, so yeah. carbon fiber scales, very lightweight. And it's got a strong walk and talk. Super lightweight. And it is a smaller knife. But it's awesome. Big fan of uh, Swan knives. See the nail nicks only on one side. Very cool. And there's his logo. Look at that. Looks like a snake. Is he trying to make that look like a snake or is it just an S? It's a swan. It's an S. That's it's a swan. To, or yeah, it's supposed to be a swan, but I get it. It's a it's an S. Custom pivots. Very nice. Adjustable torques. Carbon fiber is nice. Vinny's gotta put a lanyard on this lanyard hole. Definitely need it because it's a tiny knife. Very cool. Sometimes I forget it, it's in my pocket. It's so light. Vinny also gifted me this awesome wallet out of the blue. He knows I'm a fan. It's uh, Mike's, Mike collects wallets. I do collect wallets, I love wallets. Yeah, this is from Greg Stevens Design. Greg G Stevens Design. G Wait, D. doesn't this guy make like Watches. titanium shit? He makes watches. Watches. He does. He's he's a leather guy. He puts, uh, you know, the Burnley uh, CRKT knives mm -hmm. that um, he put the leather scales on. Okay. He does, he does that. Uh, he makes watches. Uh, so this is a side pop pouch. Side pop pouch. Burnley side pop. I pouch. think I got a side pop somewhere. It's so the side pop pouch itself is made by World War Two. 
uh, ammo pouch, mm-hmm. and I think this is just a Halloween. Wait, so this is World War II what? Leather? Yeah. Holy shit! Why are you giving me this? Because <laughs> I can't use it. Um, and this is just Halloween dyed. Uh, I think it's dyed. I'm not sure. I've had it for a long time. I, I was telling Vinny, it looks like shell cordovan because there's no wrinkles. It looks like a high quality leather. It, it is a high quality leather. It's a very nice wallet. It will stretch and get smaller over time because you're using it. Right. But it will stay. Uh, it will stay. It will last. It will last forever because it's a high quality leather. I have I have another one at home, and it's got um, it's got a lot of miles. On it's really well done. The stitching. I, again, the leather just feels so good. It's going to make me break out my side pop. I got one to steal once. I don't have a fancy titanium one. Greg Stevens Designs? Yeah. He has a Facebook group. Um, and he also has a website. He has an Instagram. Just type in Greg Stevens and his name will come up. Pretty cool. Well, thank you, Vincenzo. You're welcome. But we just wanted to showcase some of the cool stuff that Vinny brought. We were downstairs drinking for like two hours. We're actually very buzzed right now. But the lighting was terrible. Again, watch the Instagram video and you'll see what we're talking about because Ali downstairs, uh, the fabulous Ali cat bartender, made us some delicious old fashions in the dark. All right, guys, quick video, not that quick, 12 minutes with Vinny. Peace.